Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight, so let's see what messages Spirit have for you all. Okay, guys, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. So we have the lovers here, okay? So obviously the lovers can talk about relationships, emotions, choices in love, um, a partnership uh, between you know two people here so obviously this has something to do with your love life or a lover here but the two of these cards were stuck together we have the ten of air here okay so um the ten of air talks about endings recovery as well as freedom for something here okay the ten of air is betrayal is somebody who has been stabbed in the back is disloyalty okay um so much so that it has brought a situation to a ending um Okay, so somebody's relationship could have come to an end or is about to come to an end in some type of way. We got the five of earth at the bottom of the deck. You could have been abandoned or neglected, uh, left out in the cold by somebody that you were lovers with. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, somebody, your lover could have betrayed you for the love of money here with the nine of earth here. Um, this talks about contentment, luxury, as well as independence here, but it, it is a large lump sum of money, okay? Uh, something pertaining to money is why uh, your lover betrayed you in some type of way. Yeah, and there's the five of pentacles here. Okay, so somebody, whoever you was in a love relationship with, uh, betrayed you for the love of money, and then they abandoned you, they neglected you, they left you out in the cold, they left you in lack, worry, and need of assistance or help in some type of way, that five of earth flew right back out, yeah, damn, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual here, with the deck, we got the ten of earth here. So there could be a lover that betrayed somebody, obviously for a lot of money here, okay? Um, they completely just left you hanging, just left you out in the cold. It's all about the money. Earth signs are usually very grounded, stable, and secure. Um, <laughs> I actually used to... Um, I was, I was <laughs> once a long time ago, long, long time ago with an earth sign. And I would tell this person if, if you put as much focus and attention on love and the relationship that you do on money, you will be a one. You understand what I'm saying? That's how it is with earth signs. Earth signs are all about the money. Some earth signs could actually come off as like, you know, money hungry, gold diggers. It just depends on how you, um, who you're dealing with. But, but definitely, earth signs is, they all about the money, okay? They, you know, they put a lot of emphasis on their money, on their work, or whatever means that they have for money. Um, that's where all their effort is in a situation here okay so a lot of times so if even if you have uh you would an earth sign okay like this this person may work more than they're at home especially if they have like a really good job and they may travel all the time or have business trips or something like that or what have you like this person would like literally bend over backwards for their job for their money um, in a way that they wouldn't do in a relationship. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's not to say that's all earth signs, but earth signs are all about the money. Um, and in this situation, somebody, your lover, like, literally betrayed you. 
like literally stabbed you in the back was was this loyal to you or betrayed you in some type of way that brought you all's relationship to an ending and this was all for money because all this down here is nothing but money nine of earth five of earth okay so this person this is a lot of money here okay when you add the nine and the five here together that's a lot of money here okay but the five of earth also speaks to somebody being abandoned and neglected and left out in the call this person like literally kicked somebody to the curb here yeah we got fury here you could be mad as hell about this okay this says offense madness unpleasantness here somebody is really mad in this relationship here this could have been a marriage that you were in and your lover betrayed you, was disloyal to you. This person could be very, mm, mm, we have indulgence here, okay? So this person could be very friendly or flirtatious. Um, now indulgence talks about interactions, joy, friendliness, oh, okay, like... Um, even like maybe overconsumption in something or, or what have you. Spirit, clarify this um, five of earth. So somebody like literally feels trapped here. This has allure, victim, even tricked here, okay? Somebody feels tricked or... Uh, in in some way shape form or fashion here okay and this this earth sign here they was all about reaching their goal okay you know reaching a particular achievement of some kind this person had purpose um, behind what they what they did okay this has expectation as well as destination here so they were striving after a particular goal here Yeah, that's what's going on here. We got collaboration at the bottom of the deck. So this person collaborated with a group of individuals, could have even gotten into some type of contractual agreement in some type of way, uh, possibly to work against you. But this person definitely betrayed you for money, whatever this collaboration was that this person got involved in. I also see curse here. Somebody could have placed a curse on your person here This or, or placed some type of curse on you. This is hate, catastrophe, as well as misfortune here. Um, somebody could have even done some type of spell work on this person to get them to collaborate with them, um, to possibly leave you or work against you or betray you in some type of way for the love of money here. But there was definitely some type of collaboration. Whatever this earth sign do, and this is the king of earth here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? But this energy could go either way, okay? This could be a, a, a dominant earth energy female okay or it can actually be a masculine man um who's the earth sign but the the, the earth, so it could go out of the way You're, this person could have been feminine or masculine but they actually came out masculine here with the king of earth here okay so there's something that's probably very dominant about them but they got into some type of collaboration. This person definitely betrayed you, stabbed you in the back in some type of way, was disloyal to you in some type of way, uh, and it was all about the money. Sir, so what else is going on with the situation, please? What else is going on with the situation? Very clear by lovers with fury. Clarify lovers with fury. So in the past, we have past here. It also says lack and suffering here. Okay. So in the past, in this relationship, there was there was. Uh, a lack of something you were getting a lack of something out of the relationship there could have even been some type of suffering or discomfort or unhappiness in some type of way here spirit clarify the ten of air in marriage 
So we have storm and the unexpected here, okay? I feel like a situation happened all of a sudden out the blue as it relates to you all's marriage, as it relates to this betrayal, this disloyalty, this person sabotaging you, stabbing you in the back of this ending that came to this, this marriage abruptly all of a sudden here. This, this, this storm card here. With the lightning bolts you see here, this is like the tower card. A sudden upheaval, a sudden shakeup of things, tragedies, chaos, disruptions, deceptions, okay? And different things as such. Spirit, clarify uh, the nine of earth. Clarify the nine of earth. So we have disharmony, triggers, and conflict here, okay? So obviously, uh, there's been some type of disharmony amongst you all. Uh triggers something could have triggered a situation here or con just conflict in between you all ever since this person um betrayed you for this money here okay spirit clarify uh, the five of earth please Somebody is very egotistical. We have ego, vanity, and pride. Somebody is very egotistical, very prideful, very full of themselves in some type of way. Okay? This person may kind of parade around like they're better than you now or something. So I see shadow side. Whoever this earth sign is, they're in their shadow side energy. It says moon in the dark night, okay? So there's some secret things, some hidden things. This person could have even sold out for whatever they got here. They could have sold, they sold to the devil, to the devil, sold out to the powers that be, got into under some type of blood contract type of thing here, okay? If this person was willing to betray you for money, um, you know, it, it brings to question if this person ever actually had any real love for you in the first place here. But that's what's going on here. But this person is definitely in their shadow side. We know that the moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, okay? It can also speak to shady people, dirty dealings, decisions being made, illusions, things going on late at night, in the wee hours of the morning, dilemmas, criminal activity even, okay? This could be causing you to feel overwhelmed. This could be causing you to feel saddened by the situation here, okay? But, um... The bottom line to this energy is that whoever this earth sign person is, they did something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back, okay? Um, very maliciously. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the ace of earth here, okay? Uh, this is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy here, which is the energy that we have here. So whoever your person was, whomever your lover was that betrayed you for money here is, is who we're speaking of. This person is an earth sign. Okay. I also see memories and nostalgia here. I didn't know that card was just sitting there. Okay. So you could be thinking back over the past, thinking about how this person mistreated you in some type of way or what, you know, happened with your relationship. Okay. So let's see um, what other messages where it has as it relates to the situation here. You all, please like, share, and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated as a free way for you to show your support to my channel. Okay? One more shuffle. So this person was very motivated and determined to do what they did. Okay? Yeah. All for money. This is something that happened in the past as well. Spirit. This could have been something that has already taken place. Okay, but it's definitely caused conflict. It's definitely caused a major tower in your relationship all over money here. And it definitely brought a, a ending to you all's relationship. I see a lot of challenges, a lot of heartache, heartbreak here. This person may even hold some type of position. Oh my goodness. Like it's all coming out here. This person may even be in a higher fin energy. They may hold some type of position of maybe um, a leadership in some type of way. But this person abandoned you for a large amount of money. Jeez, I didn't even have to shuffle anymore. Okay? So it was definitely all about money. 
with this person here. No ifs, ands, buts about it. This person definitely neglected you. They abandoned you, okay? There's a lot of conflict that's going on in this relationship. This betrayal, this disloyalty has caused a major tower in your life, a major upheaval, okay? This person was all about the money here. All about the money here, okay? And it definitely brought you all situation to an end here, a completion here. Something had gone full cycle. Okay, and it came to an end. It caused a lot of it caused a lot of challenges as well. Okay, you could have been very determined, even feeling like you have to defend yourself in some type of way or protect yourself in some type of way due to the situation and how this person was treating you. Okay, you went through, you suffered a lot of heartache, heartbreak, sadness, loss, misery, pain here. Whoever this earth sign is, they're in this higher fan energy here. Okay, so. A hierophant is usually somebody, either you're a hierophant or the person that you were with is in a hierophant energy, okay? Someone who's a hierophant uh, is usually in some type of position of power in some type of way. Maybe they don't necessarily have to be in power. Some, some hierophants are, but it's usually a position that they hold of leadership, okay? Um, where they may lead a group of other people here, okay? But this person definitely betrayed you, left you out in the cold. Another five of pentacles here all over again. This is what caused you heartache, heartbreak, sadness, loss, misery, pain, okay? This person is sitting here with the nine of pentacles as well as the ten of pentacles here, okay? This person also teamed up. This person, this person could have received some type of generosity from an air sign here Aquarius Libra Gemini some type of compensation some type of payment or something that they got it from an air sign yeah this person went to the crossroads and they made the decision here there's something also here with family. This person could have teamed up and linked up with a family here that was jealous and envious and intimidated by you here Yeah, they, this person collaborated with other people for the purposes of money. There was also lying, cheating, sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something. There's a lot here, y'all. Spirit, what else is going on here? So we have the moon here. I feel like this person was doing a lot of things behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back here, okay? No if, ands, or but about it. So now I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. So like I said, this person could be, in your life, this person could be a Queen of Pentacles or this person could be a King of Pentacles here. Okay? I also see, keep seeing something here with the Ten of Cups here. This person either links up with persons in their family or persons in your family or a, a family of people. If this is not a family, this is just a large group of people in an effort to do something here. Okay? But this was complete and utter betrayal here. Okay? Ten of Swords come out here again. Some of these, some of these cards are, are repeating themselves here. This person was very motivated and determined to work against you. And like I said, this was their choice. The Seven of Wands also speak to determination here. But at the end of the day, they went to those crossroads. They made the decision. They sold out and made a decision to betray you in this way, to cause this tower okay this could have left you this person left you stuck restricted unable to move or get out of a situation here this person caused you extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions in some type of way here there also was some type of third party interferences okay with the three of cups and the lovers here so there could have been some type of third party situations going on some type of lying cheating sneaking and creepers somebody could this person could have also been cheating Okay. When you get the three of cups and the lovers, somebody was definitely cheating. There was definitely a third party. Spirit, what else? Yeah. So we got the four of cups here. This person definitely, they received some type of offer from someone here. Okay. And that was about all she wrote. Okay. 
this person was ready, set, go to betray you for the love of money here. This is clearly betrayal for the love of money. No if, ands, or buts about it. This has caused you sadness, loss, disappointment, as, as well as regret. And you've had to move on, move forward. Okay? From this partnership, from this relationship that you all, that you all were in. After you, this person could have started dealing with a fire sign I'm seeing as well. This person is chained to the devil. This person may have even, it seems that they hooked up with a fire sign after you. They could have even got, they could have gotten a serious committed relationship or even a marriage with a fire sign here. They may even, this person may even have a family with somebody else. But this person is definitely chained to the devil here. No if ands, buts about it. But it seems as if this earth sign teamed up with an air sign to get some type of money and they betrayed you for this money there was third party situations going on so some type of lying and cheating as well and there was a there's a fire sign that this person is is fooling around with they're either currently still dealing with this person or this may be the person that they were cheating on you with or this is the person that they hooked up with after you okay I'm seeing the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck yet again. So definitely sadness, loss, misery, disappointment, and regret as it relates to this situation, guys. Okay? So um, so for those of you who were unaware, um, of what really went on in your relationship or something like that, um, then yeah. So we got a decision here. This person definitely made a decision. And their decision was to betray you. For money. Okay. Spirit is telling you to release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of confidence here. Okay. Yeah, you also need to make a decision to move on from this situation. To move on from this person. Okay. Definitely release your ex. Cut all cords. Cut all ties with your past especially your ex here okay they made their decision and it's time for you to make a decision and move forward as well okay is what uh spirit is saying some of these some of these messages repeated themselves here so give us a card for this earth sign here yeah this person could be feeling stuck themselves right now, though. They left you in the Ten of Swords energy here, but they could be in the Eight of Swords energy here, feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move here. Whatever they collaborated with others on to get some type of money in some type of way here. This person could be feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of a situation now uh, themselves here. Yeah, with the strength here at the bottom of the card, I feel like, or bottom of the deck here, this person is trying to be brave and have courage and faith now. They're trying to stand their ground to overcome conflict now, but this is what, this what they wanted. This is what they wanted. It seems like they didn't put a lot of hard work in to do whatever they had to do to betray you in an effort to give this money here, but this person is in hermit mode now to themselves, by themselves, doing some type of spell work with the magician card here. Yeah. They're doing spell work. They could be continuously doing spell work on you. But this is the this is the decision that they made here. I'm now seeing the Ten of Coins here. The Two of Cups. Okay? This is interesting though. Because for some of you, your ex is an earth sign. The interesting thing about it is there's another earth sign person who wants to be in a relationship with you. And your ex earth sign is in hermit mode doing spell work on you, your love life, 
as well as with this new person that wants to be in a relationship with you they're doing spell work to cause some type of burdens hardships problematic situations in your life they're doing spell work to cause you to be in mental conflict they're doing spell work to prevent you from uh, taking a leap of faith and being with someone here they're doing a lot of spell work behind the scenes here okay let's see what other messages you have here Oh, wow. This card don't even go in this deck here. Five of Wands. Jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, revenge. Five of Wands here. Competition. Okay? So we got the Emperor here. This comes from Archangel Uriel, uh, Uriel here. This has stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation. Ambitious plans here. So like I said, this person ultimately betrayed you. Sabotaged you. Stabbed you in your back. Was disloyal to you. And then that's what brought your relationship to an end. But they wanted, they wanted stability, they wanted efficiency, they wanted more money. And somebody came along and, and offered them that. And, and they, that's the reason why they made the decisions that they made. That's the reason why Spirit is saying, release yourself from this situation. Release yourself from that which holds you back here. Okay? This person could have felt like you was holding them back. You were preventing them from having stability and efficiency or whatever. Or having more money, rather. Because this person sold you out, betrayed you for money here world at the bottom of the deck and that's what brings y'all situation to an end here okay this person felt like they was making some type of ambitious plans here yeah this person left you in mental conflict but now they're the ones in mental conflict look at that seven of seven of michael This person tried to leave you in mental conflict when they when they betrayed when they left you out in the cold, when they neglected you, when they abandoned you. They left you in mental conflict, stressed, depressed, or worried. Okay? But spirit is saying your worry is unnecessary, okay? Because why? This person was in the seven of Michael energy anyway, the seven of swords. Lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something. Deception, manipulation here. Spirit is saying there's a better course of action for you. Available to you. Okay? This person didn't work alone either to do what they did. They teamed up with other individuals. Okay? But with the Ten of Michael here, I told you they teamed up with an air sign to betray you the way they did. There was an air sign masculine, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that offered them money to do what they did to you. And they went along with it. Yeah, Ten of Michael, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. That's what I'm saying. Put the past behind you. This person made a decision to betray you. You need to make a decision to release yourself from that in which that uh, does not serve your highest good. That in which that holds you back. The situation has ended and you are finally free from the situation. And new opportunities are coming in for you. And this person know it. That's why they vigorously sitting behind the scene doing spell work on you. They don't want you to be happy, but they wanted themselves to be happy. And they didn't give a damn how they got there, even stepping on you to get it. Okay? Yeah. Spirit, what else is going on? Any other messages, Spirit? Yeah. For, for uh, those of you who endured this situation, uh, you're coming into some type of luck. Spirit is saying it's your lucky day. There's going to be new resources of money, time, or support that comes in for you. A change in job or even a promotion that's going to come in for you. Okay? So, yeah. Don't, 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 don't um, worry about the situation here. Okay? Because this person abandoned you. Okay? So that's what's going on here, guys. I do thank y'all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. If you are interested in donating to the channel, 
It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamonds. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well, and consider in the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't got to get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god